Seamus, thank you very much for the invitation to DPF Engineering, Carlo Island. Now, we like innovation, but what I really want to know about is, is you've got some fantastic machine tools, a, a linear line here. Um, we're here on behalf of Grob today, but before we talk about this investment and the aerospace market that you're really hunting business from, tell us a little bit about DPF Engineering. Yeah, so DPF was founded in 2010. Um, we initially started supplying the, the local medtech markets. Um, we got some opportunities then in aerospace in 2013, 2014, and we saw a nice opportunity there. Um, so we've spent time in installing quality systems, getting the correct accreditations, you know, focusing our sales activities on, on aerospace industry. And we've opened up some nice opportunities, which has led to us being able to invest in, you know, high-end equipment, five-axis equipment, um, automatic loading systems um, and it's, a, it's really an area that we see a lot of growth potential for the future for us, for DPF. And when you look at the aerospace market, uh, certainly uh, it's a global market as we know, but if you didn't invest in this type of uh, machine tools and the automation, could you be competitive? I don't think on a global scale you couldn't be competitive. Um, you need to be utilising that spindle 24-7 where possible. Also, parts are becoming a lot more complex. Uh, some of these aerospace parts have very few square surfaces, flat surfaces, so you're having to utilize your five axis machines. Um, if you can combine that with some automatic loading, you know, you're, you're giving yourself a real advantage um, over people who are manually loading machines on maybe inferior, inferior machines or machines with less axis. And when you look at the machine tool market, um, Grob are very well known in other marketplaces, but tell me a little bit about the journey, why you actually chose the Grob machines, the G350s. Yeah, I, I believe we're the first company in Ireland to have the, the Grob machines. Um, I myself, I have, a, I have a big interest in machining. I'm from a machining background uh, originally. Um, so I, I've seen Grobs at different events and shows for the last four or five years. Um, that said, we did we did look at all the options when we were you know um, doing all our research for this particular system, but still, Grob stood out to me on on a couple of fronts. It's the the machine functionality. It's that horizontal setup. It's the swarf evacuation. It's the power in the spindle, but also um, the fact that Grob is coming from an automotive background where the machines are running in a 24/7 environment and running reliably. That's that was a real selling point for us also. It's a, it's a big USP for Grob, isn't it? You know, uh, machining basically upside down, it's very unique, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Um, it looks great and it, it just doesn't look great. It, it, it works, you know, all that swarf evacuation, you're not recutting your chips. Um, but also, I think it's a more rigid setup. I think you're able to get into that part and, and hit it a little bit harder and remove a bit more material a bit quicker. Um, and the, the Grob itself is, is pretty high tech. It's able to process that data pretty quickly. So. All in all, the machine is a very high-performing machine. And recently you've uh, had this commission, you're, obviously you're running a lot of work on it now, uh, you're, you're, you're profiling yourself for more aerospace work, but I, I suppose this is just the phase one, isn't it? Because you could buy larger uh, machines from Grob, couldn't you, for future-proofing yourself even more? Absolutely. Um, you know, we've got to know Grob now, we're, we're very happy with the machines. Um, where we're, where we're standing, we've, we've room to extend in this direction. So we've room for another three machines, and they could be larger or smaller machines. Um, again, the pallet system gives us flexibility to load different machines of different sizes. So we are future-proof from that point of view also. And I think with automation as well, you know, there, there is skill shortages worldwide, not just uh, in Ireland, I'm sure. But I presume this is a, another reason for, to go down the path, not to be compet only be competitive, but also from a skill shortage. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So I think it's industry-wide where it, it's a skill shortage is a problem. Um, the logic we're taking is we're going to try retain the good people we have and, and really upskill them to a high level, you know, have them operating on good equipment, manufacturing very high quality parts um, and again just give them that extra bit of a skill level, pay them a bit more um, you know, and it, it kind of makes it attractive for, for clever engineers to come and work for us. And tell me a little bit about the collaboration between Grob and Aroa. Has that been quite a, an interesting and, and fruitful relationship to, to get exactly what you need? Yeah, it's been pretty easy to be honest. Um, it was totally our decision on, on what machines and what uh, pallet systems we, we, we wanted to go with. And once that decision was made, we just brought everybody together. Um, 
these guys have a knowledge of each other and, uh, and they've worked on, on similar projects in, in different companies um, and that again was a nice attractive point that each each guy knew each company knew each other's technology so the integration was a lot simpler than you'd imagine even though we were dealing with two different companies so when you look in the investment that you've got here I'm sure you're actively uh, knocking on the aerospace uh, doors at the moment basically have you got capacity and what type of work are you looking for yeah absolutely um, if you look at the theory of 8760 hours of spindle hours per machine we, we have loads of capacity at the moment we are actively looking for work this particular cell and these particular machines are designed for parts in the four to five hundred cubic size and we're really interested in hard metals uh, the machine again is specified and specced up to machine hard metals and um, the pallet loader the load capacity on the, on the pallet loader allows us to load pretty heavy billets of, of hard metal. And I suppose once you've proved that to companies that are outsourcing aerospace components, there's room to grow as well. Absolutely. As I, as I touched on earlier, we've, we've room to expand this particular line in a, in a direction. We can expand by another 150% here, um, depending on how fast the work comes in and how quick we can process it. But I think we've put ourselves in a good position because we, we have the equipment, we believe we have the people and they're getting the skills and we, and we have the pallet loader to, to load the machine. So I think the package is coming together. Um, so yeah, we, things are looking good for the future. Well, talking about the future, I'd love to come back here again and hopefully see a few more machines. Hopefully, yeah. All going well. <laughs>